Good morning, everybody. I am Chris, and we are doing a 25-minute booty workout. Did I do that again? Glutes workout, okay? We're going to be using dumbbells. <laughs> Sorry. Monday. If it's not Monday when you're doing this, happy Tuesday or Wednesday or whenever it is, okay? Um, we're going to be using dumbbells and Regina bands. Let me explain that. These are not called Regina bands anywhere else but on my channel. Okay, these are booty bands, fabric resistance bands. Okay, um, if you don't have these, there's a link to my Amazon. My hair is in my face <laughs> live. Um, a link to my Amazon store where you can get these and all the other stuff. There's actually a post coming out if you're new to my channel. Good morning, Kelly. Kelly posted for me uh, a post today that's coming out that is um, about what you need to start up if you're just getting started. So, and I put all the links in there for you, okay? All right, Bonnie, Wendy, Iva, Sandy, uh, Christina, Bettina, Chelsea, Jenna, Janet. Okay, uh, what else, what else? Uh, quick big shout out to some of my newest monthly supporters, Joel B, Nicole S, Maria C, Sarah H. Um, I appreciate you guys so much and your support of my channel. That is how we keep these workouts going. Uh, my husband is coming. Here he comes. Hey. So we're going to get ourselves warmed up. If that doesn't warm your heart, ooh, I don't know what does. Mm, okay, let me just go. Hold on. We're going to go have a little love affair. Kevin, can you hit play? Can you hit play? Good morning, my little, bo my little booger. Sorry. I just need a minute of this. Cleveland Calculus got our new booty bands. Sorry. Okay, I'll put them down. Okay, I'm sorry, bud. Have a seat. Okay, so we're just going to start with curls. All right, so what are we doing? Just warming up your legs, okay? A cool down and a warm up. Non-negotiable, guys. All right, I was talking about this with Amanda's husband, Dave. Here we go again. <laughs> we were talking about shirtless men workouts, which I'm sure are wonderful. They are. <laughs> Good. And... <laughs> Okay, and um, but Dave, Amanda's husband, was like, "No, there's no warm up." He's like, "This is 30 minutes a hit, and we're like down on the floor doing burpees in three seconds." And I'm like, "I don't agree with that." All right, you got to warm up your body, right? You're gonna get injured, and then Dave's like, "Yeah, I think something's wrong with my shoulder, actually." <laughs> All right, now mini squat. You're gonna go down and up, and down and up, good, down, good, down. Stay with it. I know, Amber. Good. Nice. Pulse it down. Pulse, pulse. Oh, it's wait, it's Brian's birthday? Happy birthday! Our Brian. Good. He's almost as old as me now. Keep going in four and three and two. Two steps right. Low. Over. Over. Good. All right. Vanessa. <laughs> Good. Listen to Chris. Yes. Good. That's the name of my channel now. Listen to Chris. No, I'm kidding. Morning, Sarah. All right, good. So if you're just joining me for the first time, all my, most of my workouts are live, okay? So if you're like, who's this lady talking to? I have a screen with comments on it coming through where people can ask questions, say hello to each other. Let me tell you, you guys are super supportive of each other. It's amazing. Good. Now listen, squat side to side. You're going to go down and up and down and up. Down. Kevin's going to give you a little tour right there. <laughs> down. Good. So there's a big screen there with me on it. And then over past that big light, you can't really see it. Right. <laughs> Keep going. This is the other side of the, the studio, right? Keep going. Down. Up. Now pulse it down. Pulse it down. Pulse. 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 Four. Three. Two. Hold it down. You're going to tap out. Oh, Kevin given the tour. Come on. <laughs> I know Marta, but I like to call you Auntie Marta. Come on. <laughs> and tap, tap, tap. Get lower. Tap. Keep going. It'll be over soon. Before you know, this is a quickie, guys. Doesn't mean it's easy, though, right? Okay, now listen. Take it up and tap. 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 Good. Good. <laughs> Jenna, by the way, I'm not ignoring you. Sometimes there's just a lot, a lot of comments coming up that I can't see them. Keep going up, but I did say that. I see you said Howard wanted to know, but I have no idea what you typed before that. Keep going, side, to side, side. Eight more, eight, seven. I know she's gonna tell me, that's okay. Good, in four, three, two, squat, and then fold forward. 
and down. All right, keep it going, squat. Now, on the fold, your knees are soft. If you can't get to your ankles, what do you do? You just go to the knees, all right? And down, good, awesome. Again, come on, Jim, down. Good morning, Jen. Jen, we miss you. That's Jen the Beast, everybody. I know you don't like it when we call you that, but it is really a big compliment. And down, nice. All right, right here, right leg's going up and over. Keep going. Seven, warming up, good. Six, five, Emily, four, in three, good, two, ready, other way, good. Bernice, New Year's resolution for this cardio queen, hit the strength training, that's right, work the booty with Chris, good, and three, <laughs> yeah, Kevin said that's a sure. Nice. All right, release it out. Cow. So we're gonna start out. I want you to have medium to heavy dumbbells nearby. But we're gonna start out with your band. Okay. Starting out with your band. Now, nearby, I'm gonna have weight that's good for deadlifts. Uh, I'm gonna have weight that's good for squats and deadlifts. Okay. So I'm gonna pull out 30s for that. I'm gonna explain something about the dumbbells from a question I was asked over the weekend. Okay. Band on. You can hold an optional dumbbell here if you want at your chest. If you want, okay? Uh, whoever got those new bands, the new Regina bands? <laughs> Before we start, I love you. Okay, so watch this. You're gonna go out, out, and see how I'm kind of making a little circle as I go? and then walk back in for four. Okay, so this is gonna be one minute. In three, two, here we go. Out, out, make a little circle. Good, and then you walk back. Two, three, four, it's a little circle, good. Okay, keep this going. Question we had over the weekend. And I never really thought about this <laughs> until I have the question asked. If I'm using a 10 pound dumbbell, this is the question, in each hand, am I using 10s or 20s? Fair question, because it depends on the move you're doing. Okay, good. So right now I have one 15 pound dumbbell. Okay, if it was two seven and a halfs, it would still be 15 pounds, right? So I'm using 15 pounds right now for this move. Keep going. Good. Back. And stop. Now put the dumbbell down. This is not a lunge, okay? This is not a lunge. You're gonna go, right heel is slightly up, okay? Wait a second, I'll make sure that's right. Okay, so right heel is slightly up, just slightly. You're gonna go down, back, up, down, all right, so you're on the ball of the foot, not the toes. All right, I don't know if that's right. <laughs> Ready? Here we go, so you go back, halfway up and down, so weight is all into that left leg. Down, back, halfway up and down. So what I don't want you to do, keep going, is put a bunch of weight in this foot back here. So it's not, it's a lunge, kind of, but I want you to I think of it as balance, almost like you're just doing that, right? Imagine your foot is off the floor, so very lightweight. Down, back, up, down, good. Down, back, lightweight on that right foot, on that back foot, good. Awesome, good. Stay with it. All right, so let's talk about those weights again, right? Make sure that left heel is squished, is pressing into the floor, not squished, just pressing. The right one is very light, okay? Good. Stop, okay. Lisa, that works your glutes more. Okay, you ready for the other side? Here we go, so you're down, back, up, down. Good, down, hey Rosemary, up. So Lisa asked on those uh, duck walks, what does that do? It works your glutes more. 
All right, so with the dumbbells, right? So say you have in your hands, right? Uh, a 10 pound in each hand. Let's talk about that. If you have a 10 pound weight in each hand. If I was doing it for this, that would be that I'm using 20 pounds because I'm doing it for my whole body, right? So it'd be the same as if I had a 20 pound bar on my shoulders, right? Because I'm using 10 pounds in each hand. Now, if I'm using 10 pound dumbbells for bicep curls, I'm using 10 pounds in each hand. So it's not 20 pounds, all right? It's 10 pounds because it's, it's um, distributed through each, each arm. And stop, all right. Grab those dumbbells. We're doing. A slow squat is gonna be down two, up two, and then your deadlift. All right, are you ready? In three, two, here we go. Good, Rosemary, you're not allowed to come on Sunday with that comment. <laughs> good, good. And down, and up, good. <laughs> so everybody knows before giving any crap to Rosemary. I do know Rosemary. I've trained Rosemary. Maybe she, she is a pain in the ass. I'm kidding. <laughs> She's laughing so hard right now. I'm kidding. Take it down. She would say the exact same thing about me, so it's fine. Good. Good. Woo. Good. Um, ALK 5B. Yes. We are like 10 minutes in already. Keep going. Good. This is the lower body. The upper body has not started yet. Okay, good. You have to reload your page if you see that, honey. Come on. Down. Up. And stop. Oh yeah. Come on to the floor. Okay. Give me a close up of this calf. We're coming to the floor. Keeping your band on. Feet are flat for the first one. You're gonna go up, two, three, and down. Okay, so it's just three pulses. When that is done, you're doing up, abduct, in, and down. Okay, so one minute. Ready? Three pulse. One, two, three. Good. Yeah. <laughs> Liam just said I used to ro babysit Rosemary. Okay, so again, last week I explained this because somebody sent in a message saying, when I do glute bridges, I feel it all in my neck. It hurts my neck, okay? If you're doing this right now and you can't lift your head off the floor, you're putting way too much weight into your head. This is not putting weight in anywhere above your shoulder blades, okay? Keep going. A one, two, three. <laughs> A one, two. Three, good. Up, two, three, good. <laughs> good. Nice. Up, two, three, good. Keep going. Anybody feeling their glutes yet? <laughs> good. All right, one more. Up, two, good. Take a break. Now you're going to go up. Now, actually, sorry, I lied. You're on your toes if you can be. So your heels are up. We are going to go up. Abduct, in and down. In three, two, one, let's go. Chelsea, out, in, down, up, out, in. Good, good. Good, keep going. Up, so again, your weight is not on your head. Lift, out, in, good. <laughs> good, good. <laughs> I love you, Kev. Come on. <laughs> no. Whew. Do you have Louie up there? Oh, uh, good. At the end of this round, maybe you should give a little quarter Lou love. Somebody said you remind them the Adams family when your thumb comes in the bottom. <laughs> Thing, yeah. Out, in, again. There he is. Out, <laughs> out, in. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
Kevin's got Kevin's got new hand gestures tonight. Maybe Kevin's gonna learn how to make like bunnies and stuff with his hands and stop. Good. <laughs> okay. Quick break because we're doing all of that one more time. All right. <laughs> one more time. Whoo. Uno mas. Oh yeah. Grab a drink. All right. Cynthia. <laughs> <laughs> uh, ABC, does arm placement matter? I'll tell you that in a second. Okay, so we're going back to the first one with the duck walk <laughs> to the monster. You can hold a weight or not, okay? I'm going 15. <laughs> Talk about a pain in the ass, right? Okay, ready? And here we go. One, two, three, and four. Take it back. Uh, ABC, um, Kevin, will you remind me of that when we get back to the glute bridges for that question? So the question was on the glute bridges, does arm placement matter? Um, I'll give you some options on the next round of that, okay? Good. Out, 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 good. <sighs> nice. Come on, let's go. Booty on fire, Gail. Come on. And Christina, good, stay with it. <laughs> Kev can darken the room and make shadow puppets. That's like kind of what I was thinking, Janet. Good. And back. What's that? In the Louis Kale? Kev, Kev's gonna, this is gonna be a new channel called Kevin Shadow Puppets. Good. And, and stop. Okay, we're doing that tap back. Whew. All right, ready? Oh, that keeps you going, right? Okay, right heel is lifted slightly. Let's do two. So it goes down, back. You're kind of balancing. Up, down, in, and up. Nice and slow. So you're down there low, tapping back. You're hardly any weight on that back heel, so you slightly bend forward. Down, in, up. Again. So you should really feel those left glutes. Up down, in, back up, good. So if you have you really terrible balance, right? <laughs> up, you can hold on to something if you need to, just don't lean on whatever it is that you're holding. <laughs> up, good, keep this going. Down, good, good, down. I know, I know, right, Kelly? I know, it makes such a difference, those Regina bands, good, good. <sighs> All right, Donna, you got this lady, let's go. Come on. <sighs> Stop. Kevin looks at me in all serious, but I can't find Regina bands, I Googled them. <laughs> Ready for the other leg? And here we go. <laughs> Good. Back, up, good, and down. And in, and up, good. Down, back, up. So again, you're hardly putting any weight on that back leg, okay? That leg that's moving, you're hardly putting any weight, good. Total fused foot ankle here, no balance, so I always use something. That's great, Patty, excellent. So I love when you guys share that kind of stuff, right? So she has a to Patty has a totally fused ankle. Sometimes you need a little help. And you know what, Patty? I just fell over. Not on purpose. I'll kind of, no, I'm just kidding. It wasn't on purpose. But, but that's okay, right? We learn to modify. We learn what our bodies need. Good. Do you see, Do you see that? Good. Last one. And nice. All right, you got your squat to your deadlift. Okay. Picking up your heavies. I got 30s. Four, three, ready, here we go. You go down, and up. <laughs> Jenna, down, and up. Okay, Kristen said she was feeling her quads more than her glutes on the mini lunge. You might wanna angle yourself forward more in that. What, which quads were you feeling? You might, I mean, you're gonna feel your quads too, Kristen, because you're bending in the knee, right? And you're low. So, yes, you're gonna feel your quads. 
But to feel that move more in the glutes, right, you really want to just kind of angle forward to make sure the weight is over that front leg a little more. Okay? Good. Good. <laughs> Good. Don't get, you two don't get me started. Come on. So somebody was saying yesterday on a comment, um, I don't say the live chat replay anymore. Live chat replay won't be there anymore because of the change where I upload the videos now. Last one. And stop. Good. Put them down. Okay. Come on down. <laughs> it's a little both. All right. Feet flat. Hey. I'm going to give you some optional hand positions. How's that sound? Okay. First one, hands down here. Feet are flat, hip width apart, three pulse up. Ready? Here we go. Now, a couple things you can do with the hands. Okay. This is fine. Right? A little bit more core would be to have your elbows here. All right? A little more core would be to have your arms up. Okay? Now, those are all different things. You might find your stability is totally different with your arms up. And that's good because now you're working your core. Hands down just puts it, makes it you have a bigger base of support, right? So it might help anybody who's new or has to modify to keep the placement right until you feel like you're getting the movement right, okay? So love those questions, guys. Good job. Good. Up, two, three, and down. Good. Up, two. <sighs> yeah, you got to be live for the Jenna and Donna show. Good. <laughs> Wait, and the Liam and Vanessa and Amanda show. Come on. And stop. Okay, you got one more. Heels up, toes down. Here we go. Up, out. Now, this one does require a little bit more balance because you're on the toes. Now, again, if you can't be on the toes, being up on the, the flat foot is fine. It gives you more stability. Again, if you want to go here, you're going to feel the difference. Okay. If you're going to go here... Good, good, come on. Good, Daniel. Where are you, Daniel? Are you UK? I assume you're UK, I don't know why. Maybe you said it. So I'm not assuming if you said it. Keep going, come on. Up, out. Nice. Up, out, in, down. Good, up. Stay with us, guys, stay with us. Up, out. No, again, again, that's some total but different stuff, work on the core a little bit more when you do, th if you do this, it's gonna help you get up higher. Okay, keep going, but if you're getting up high enough to feel your glutes, that'll change everything. Keep going, sorry, keep going. And up, and stop. Okay, okay, take the band off finally. <laughs> Come over to hands and knees. Now, um, this is totally optional to hold the, ba the, um, to hold the dumbbell back there. What can help keep keep it back there, though, is to wrap your dumbbell in a towel. I'm using an eight pound, just so you know. That'll help. You don't have to put it back there if you don't want. So, you're gonna be on your forearms. You're gonna lift your left leg up, okay? For 45 seconds, we have two moves on each side. Flex your foot, you're gonna pulse up the whole time. Here we go, good. Now you're not doing this, okay? Good. Keep going. Left. All right. So you want to keep it up and controlled. If you're doing it here, you're not going to feel much glutes, right? You got to get up there to feel the glutes. Good. Good. Come on. Oh, good. Christina, I literally just kind of made that up because I, I felt like, well, yeah, I need to be able to lift my head off the floor. Good. Come on. Up. Stay with it. Good. Nice focus here. Keep going. Hold it. Now, two down, two up. Point the toe. Go, right to it. And up. Point the toe. Down. Now, pointing the foot and flexing the foot just uh, changes uh, different muscles you're working. Okay? Good. And up. Not that much, though, right? Keep going. Good. And up. Nice. Good. Take it down. And up. Awesome. Good. Uh, Wendy, keep going. Uh, Wendy asked if my bands are light, medium, or heavy. Okay, just so you know, 
a lot of them are going to be marked differently. Okay, I know that sounds ridiculous, but it's just the way the different companies mark them. This is my heaviest band. And on my brand, the brand I have here, it's not my brand, okay? It says L for large and stop. Good, switch legs. Okay, switch legs. Come down to your forearms. Ready? Pulse it up, foot flex, let's go. Up, so lift it, good. So this says large, 35 to 60 pounds. Now, I pay no attention to that 35 to 60 pounds because that's completely ridiculous to even put pounds on these, okay? <laughs> because, <laughs> I mean, 35 to 60 pounds is a huge, like, range, right? Okay, so, and the colors are gonna be different. So, um, the tightest one is clearly the hardest one, <laughs> okay? And it probably says some kind of guide on the packaging or the paperwork inside, which one is the easiest and which one is the lightest. Keep going, we're almost there. Up. Hold it up and point, ready? Two down, two up, let's go. Down, down, and up. Keep going, and down. Good, up. So right before class, I got a message from Liam saying that he was really upset because <laughs> He saw one of these songs, that, a song that was released 19 years ago today. And he was like, no, this song is 19 years old. I was like, I was in third grade. That's Liam. I told him I remember the day that they said Back to the Future was 20 years old. And I specifically remember the feeling. Keep going down, being like, what? Oh. <laughs> and, and how long ago was that now? <laughs> 1985, I remember being like, what? I saw that in the theater twice. <laughs> and stop, awesome, take it out. Woo! <laughs> oh, take it out. <laughs> and that comes out of nowhere. <laughs> Good. Sorry, I know that was a long explanation, Wendy, but that's what it is. I hold it. Okay, so, reminder. Mondays is typically a full body workout, but sometimes I split it in two, like I'm doing today, because not everybody has time for long workouts. So, in the 9 a.m. hour are your work is your workout plan if you're following my program, okay? So we come back in five minutes for up for biceps and triceps. Sorry, Liam, triceps and biceps. <laughs> Woo! Good. All right. <laughs> and Good. We're not old. We're vintage. We're <laughs> good. Toes on. Come up to a down dog. Stretch them out. Ooh, good. Hold. Now, between workouts, stretch out your lower body a little bit because the upper body is going to be working. All right. Whew. Good. Walk back. Hang forward. And if you feel you need more of a stretch, there are plenty of lower body stretch routines on my channel. Make sure you check them out. Whew. Bend in your knees. Roll it up. Good. A quick little quad stretch on each side. And stop. Good. <laughs> Possessive. Yeah, you take your whole family to the movies now and it's like $400. <laughs> yeah, I'll stay home. Watch Netflix. Good. Check it out. Good. Good. All right, guys. Last one. Big breath in. Hands together to your heart. We'll be back in five, four, biceps, triceps, triceps, biceps. Thank you guys. Don't forget to hit like and comment when you come back.